So the number one question I get from people is how in the world do you use this confusing ass mod? And so the purpose of this video is to try to make it where I can get through a single night without PMs on how to do this or that. We'll start by obtaining it. First, you craft a TARDIS core. You, this is the recipe. You can only craft it with that key there. This one doesn't exist. You can only get that one through creative. So this is how you craft this key. I might put that in the Sonic's workbench or something later. We'll see. So you slap this down, you let it grow. Or you could use the command slash TARDIS grow. The bounding box of the coral you want to grow has to be highlighted. And you have to have permissions, of course, admin by default. It'll grow, it'll give you this key, and then you wait. There's bigger on the inside, it's great. Okay, so what you're going to want to do after this is you're wa going to want to get a book some way and right click it on the TARDIS which will give you a manual oh look at that it's blank ah mod ruined what can we do you can look at the controls and it'll show you what to do this is the door switch it controls the door this is the coordinate randomizer it randomizes your coordinates directional control surprisingly it chooses what direction you face XYZ, what could they do? I'll let you figure that out. That being said, to go back or to get these negative, what you'll want to do is shift in the mod. That's a common that's a common theme here. Remember it. So just scan over the controls to figure out what to do. When you first get a TARDIS, the TARDIS has different subsystems. When you first get it, these will be set to ran these will spawn with random health. You can choose this to see what it is. Now, most things, the item will be named the same as the subsystem. You can pull these things out, and it'll give you the item with the health that you can then repair in a steady state micro welding station from the third doctor's era. This is the recipe. You throw that down, you pop these in here, you give it whatever it takes to uh, repair. These will be different per item. See, and then it just does this, and it always repairs it to full. So you might want to wait till it runs down, but then you have a chance of actually breaking it and ruining it. This is a TARDIS toolkit. As it says in the description, it repairs all non-zero systems by 15%, and you cannot, uh, you cannot craft nor find this. It's creative only at the moment. Now you might see a lot of Sonics here. You can craft this one here, this shitty model I made. You can craft this, and once you have a Sonic of any description, really, you make a Sonic's work workbench. With a Sonic workbench, it shows you all the Sonics that you can craft. You pop a Sonic in here, you choose what Sonic you want it to be, you take it out, and there you go. not rocket science. So, okay, flying the TARDIS. First we'll go so someone, somewhere random. So we click on the randomizer, as you may be able to figure out. You click on the time rotor handbrake to launch. You can do this before or after setting coordinates, it doesn't really matter. Stabilizers will be off by default and that puts you into unstabilized flight where you have to respond to what comes up and within about five seconds or else 
the TARDIS will start to explode and send you further from your destination. The upside to this is that it's a lot faster, twice as fast, in fact. And sometimes it sometimes it doesn't uh, doesn't switch to a different uh, event, so you get more than five seconds before you have to change it. Yes, fading in when you leave is a glitch, and it will be fixed. So, let's talk about the monitor. This is one of the single most important blocks in here. Currently, first off, the chameleon cir circuit. Everyone loves it. You can choose any box you want. Just so long as the chameleon circuit uh, subsystem is not zero. And this will wear down if you have one while it's flying. So there's that. There's HADS. What HADS does is it materializes your TARDIS away from danger like arrows or hostile mobs when they come in contact with it. Uh, this can cause you to lose your TARDIS because it will fly away without you. If you have stabilizers installed, they'll automatically engage and it'll go where it's intending. Same with the Statenheim remote. If you do not, then it will be completely up to chance what happens. And it's no fault, no one's fault but your own. So where'd it go? Who knows? How would we recall it? Well, a Statenheim remote. But Spectre, you can't right-click the, the console because it's gone. That's why I made it where you can craft it. With You can craft the two together to bind it. It's been this way for probably three versions now, and none of you will listen to me. Oh, look at that. It's bound, and you get to keep your key. Wow. Actually, HADS may make it stop existing at the moment. Not sure on that one. Okay, so once that time's in, there we go. So, now we get to some of the finer points, like TARDIS maintenance. This is an alemb Alembic. It needs to be remodeled. The displays badly need to be done, but they're not currently, so oh well. You'll find Cinnabarrower. When you mine it, it will drop Cinnabar, which is supposed to exist somewhere. Yeah. And you right click it with an you right click it in an Olympic. And well you're supposed to have to right click with a a bottle, but this is how you get a bottle of mercury. Distilling is how you get mercury from Cinnabar IRL, so deal with it. This is how stuff works. You can use this to uh to craft I th thought you Yeah, you can use this to craft the fluid links or repair them to full. There is no current list of of all the recipes at the moment. There's also no way to get these blocks by default. This will be fixed as soon as I can get a model for the uh the archite architectural reconfiguration uh tree.